If you or your kiddo have ever, have ever experienced an ear infection, then you know they are not very fun. We're also talking tonsils, too. Dr. Derek Van Hill of Mountain View Hospital joins me now with why some people get them frequently. And I love that he just sat on the set because I just showed him a picture of my son's tonsils. Gage, I hope that you're not watching right now. Look at these horrible tonsils. This is like two weeks ago. Look at that. Those tonsils are almost touching. And you said, yep, that's, we see this sometimes, yeah. this time of year. Yeah, we do. And those are pretty bad, right? They are. <laughs> those are something that you would probably suggest maybe those need to come out. Yeah, so for some people, they have issues with their tonsils, and for some people, they don't. Obviously, for your son, he is having a lot of issues with his tonsils, and that's pretty significant. So he's had those pretty much his whole life, around this time of year, and sometimes in the spring. His tonsils will get swollen. You've seen people that chronically have these issues, right? What causes that? Yeah, so um, tonsils are lymphatic tissue, so like lymph nodes, when you get sick and your lymph nodes get swollen, the tonsils can also get swollen as well. And for some people, um, people like your son, unfortunately, they're getting bad infections, their throat gets swollen and sore, and it happens for some people chronically, or it happens you know, every year, multiple times a year, and those are the people that really struggle with them. And I've heard before, oh, maybe you shouldn't get them out, but you're saying it's really probably better for these people to get them out. Yeah, so not everyone needs them out. I have my tonsils. Never I have really, my tonsils. Yeah, they've never really been an issue, and so getting them out doesn't really make a lot of sense, but for someone like your son or for other people that get recurrent infections, they're chronically inflamed, they're chronically swollen, it's keeping them out of work or keeping them out of school uh, multiple times a yes. year, then it might make sense to get them out. Well, his poor little uvula is <laughs> squished. <laughs> it's not comfortable. <laughs> no. And truly, he's had strep throat so many times and all of it. Um, so what about ear infections? Because I know that, that happens for a, a lot of kids, too. This is a time of year. Yes. Why this time of year? Yeah, so uh, for younger kids, um, they have more problems with their ears than adults. We have something called the eustachian tube, which connects the ear to the nose. So that's why when you go up in elevation or on airlines and you can yawn or pop your ears, for younger kids, they have a harder time doing that. And so when they get any cold or any, um, you know, just runny nose or things, their ears get more plugged up. They have more negative pressure, which means more fluid in the ear. And because bacteria like fluid, they can then grow on that fluid and create the recurrent infections. It's, is that why it's more common in babies? Because they have so much liquid and fluids and... Yeah, so when they're younger, their eustachian tube's a little different. Their middle ear, the inside of their ear can have more negative pressure. And so they get... A lot of colds, runny mm -hmm. nose, you know, you see that a lot. And so they're getting chronic infections of their ears. And for those kids, those are the ones that are really um, struggling with that. What do you do for a baby with an ear infection? What should you do? Yeah, so not every kid who has um, ear infections needs a procedure or surgery done. But for kids who are getting recurrent infections or they're getting put on antibiotics multiple times or they get on antibiotics, their infection never clears, then they're getting put on another set of antibiotics, then that's when we would consider surgery surgery or putting something called ear tubes in to help um, equalize that pressure and decrease the number of infections. How do you know if your baby needs that? I mean, if, if your baby's having a few ear infections, then when do you know you need tubes? Yeah, so let's say you've had one or two and you're wondering, you know, is this something that we need to get done? You know, if you're questioning and wondering that and if it's not that many, then something you can wait and see. But there are, and I'm sure for some of your listeners, there are people mm -hmm. out there that have had kids that have had five or six or eight infections you know within the last few months or in these next few months that's something that might happen for them and that's the those are the kids that are the ones that we should uh, consider getting ear tubes getting twice. ear tubes what yeah. if they just have an ear infection what's the best way to treat an ear infection if they're just getting their first or second ear infection yeah so if they're um, getting just one or two ear infections um, depending on how significant it is uh, we can watch that or they can always get put on antibiotics if they're having significant symptoms from that but again if it's just one or two it's not something we would jump to thinking about do we need to get a procedure done but if it's something that's happening recurrently then that's when we would consider it all right well this is the time of year to maybe get 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 the doctor's checks your your tonsils your ears all those things to see if there's something possible that needs to come out or get those tubes in yes thank you so much we're gonna put all the information on our website there's a present to you of a gift yes yeah, so I brought you this gift so um, it's a tonsil uh, so if you or, or someone in your office has had their tonsils <laughs> it's an removed. Tonsil. 
pencil. Or if your son gets his removed. Um, this, he's, he's going to get his removed. It can be a reminder of why they finally got their tonsils out. Um, well, his uvula will be happy, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he gets his tonsils out. Thank you so much, doctor, Thank for you coming for having on the me. show. We'll put all his information on the website, too. So if you need your tonsils out or tubes in your ears, he can be the one to do it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.